The whole country was praying for me, and I'm very happy to be honored with this accolade as Malala's friend and classmate. Kaina, does what happened on that day still play on your mind? God forbid something like that would happen again, which would hurt me. That's all I'm scared of. Yes, whenever I think of that day when we were simply coming home from school and we were attacked, I'm full of fear and scared. I can't go to visit my uncles and aunts or grandmother like I used to, but we're happy. We've been given a chance at a second life. We're fully recovered. But if our friend Malala was also with us today, we would have been even more happy. You're very strong and brave to be back at school already. That's because the whole country was supporting us and I thank God for giving us a new life because who knows when or where or even whom a bullet might strike next. And we really have to thank the doctors who took care of us. It's because of them we're alive today. So thank you, all of them. What are your hopes and dreams for Swart and, and young women like you? We want to tell them that we aren't alone in keeping Malala's dream alive. All of you are with us in this quest. We'll all work together to ensure Malala's dream of educating girls is fulfilled. And I want to appeal to those young girls and women who are working in people's homes as maids and servants to quit their jobs and go get an education. They have to claim their right to an education. And what ambitions do you have for your future? I want, to doctor of army. I want to be an army doctor. I'm going to keep studying and do my best to make it happen. I really want to be a doctor in the army. And you? And I want to be a doctor. You want to be a doctor as well? Well, good luck. Thank you so much for talking to us at CNN.